Namaste JVMs, my name is Kritika Shenmare and uh, I belong to the Department of Food, Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences and uh, precisely to the Department of Food and Biotechnology. So we were talking about the food business management in our last uh, lecture videos. Now continuing with the same topic, we'll be talking about the land reforms uh, based on the agricultural, um, agricultural sector in India. The Indian agriculture is dominated by a large number of small scale operators that are predominantly owner operators. Okay, the land reforms need to address three important issues that is to map land carefully and uh, assign conclusive titles to facilitate the land leasing, to facilitate land leasing and to create a fair but speedy process of land acquisition for public purposes. The National Land Record Modernization Program was started in 2008 in updating and digitalizing land records for the end of the 12th plan. Eventually, the intent is to move from presumptive titles where legislation of land does not imply and the owner's title is legally valid to conclusive titles where it does. Uh, now, uh, Eventually, the intent is to move from presumptive titles where the registration of land does not imply on the owner's title uh, in a uh, legislative legally valid. So, uh, conclusive titles where it does digitalization uh, will help to enormously in lowering the cost of land transaction, uh, while conclusive titles will eliminate the legal uncertainty and need to use the government as an intermediary. For acquiring lands was to cleanse the title. Given the importance of this program, the rollouts in various states needs to be accelerated. For large public welfare projects such as proposed national and manufacturing uh, zones and national highway projects, large scale lands, large scale land acquisition may be necessary. Given that the people currently living on the identified land will uh, suffer significant costs, including the loss of property and livelihood, a balance has to be drawn between the need for economic growth and the cost imposed on the displays. The land acquisition, rehabilitation, and resettlement bill 2011 passed for the Lok Sabha recently is uh, likely to ensure the right to consent, fair compensation, and transparency to the farmers in process. We are now talking about the ministries and public institutions involved in the implementation and monitoring of agricultural policies in India. So the production, uh, the agencies which are responsible for the production at the central level are ministries of agriculture, food processing, water resources, energy, and the ICEA. And the NFC agencies at the uh, and the state level are Ministry of Agriculture, Horticulture, Food Industries, Process uh, Irrigation, Power, SAE. The prices involved in Ministry of Agriculture, Food Processing, Commerce and Commission and Agricultural Costs and Prices. For the agencies at the regional level are Ministries of Agriculture and Commerce. For marketing, the agencies at the central level which are responsible are Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, FNA, Directorate of Marketing and Inspection, NASA, Food Corporation of India, Sporting Corporation of India. Central Warehousing Corporation, Group Corporation of India, National Dairy Development Board, Special Marketing Producing Corporation, Commodity Board, for marketing at the regional state level, the Minister of Agriculture, Directorate of Agricultural Marketing, State Level Agricultural Commodity Marketing Federation, State Level Agricultural Marketing Board, Primary, Central and State Level Marketing, Social Union. 
special marketing services uh, to service tribal cooperative marketing federations for credits. The agencies for a central level of industry finance, such the Bank of India, National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development, for credits at the original state level are Ministry of Finance, State Level Bankers, Committee, uh, Regional Offices at Nobar, Commercial Banks, Credit Cooperative, Regional Rural Bank, for the three that uh, Ministry of Commerce. Commodity Boards, Agriculture and Process Food Products, Development Authority, that is NAPEDA, National Agriculture Cooperative Marketing Federation, the, that is NAPED, and uh, for trade at the, the regional level, Agri Export Zone, that is AES, and the Ministry, AEZ, and the Ministry of Agriculture. For research, the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, that is SPAR. The Veterinary Council of Veterinary Council of India, that is VCR, the Indian Council of Forest Research, that is ICFR, and the uh, Central Agriculture University, that is the Indian Universities. For research at the regional level, the uh, agency bodies are state agriculture universities, private uh, agriculture colleges, private institutions, and autonomous institutions. The education at Indian Council of Agriculture Research, that is Indian Institute for Management. Central Agriculture University for uh, also the for regional bodies, the um, for local bodies and all the state agriculture universities, private colleges, and the business and the institutes of the CEB. Now that was all about the land reforms and the central and the regional bodies involved in it. Now talking about the agriculture credit policy. Now, the third five-year plan emphasizes the urgent need to create an institution to provide funds for investments in the agricultural sector. This results in the establishment of agricultural economics of cooperation in 1963. In 1969, the lead bank scheme was introduced with the primary objective of taking a territorial approach to rural development. Now, questioning to the rural inequalities in the rural bank uh, were noted. The gaps were created was attempted to be filled with expansion of microcredit projects in the rural areas. Several issues of this uh, area of rural credit still remain to be addressed. The major ones related to the provisions of the cheap and timely credit to the small and marginal farmers with low risk, low transaction costs and associated risks. Another issue related to the development of the way to provide working credit to tenant farmers. The recent development in credit policy includes agricultural loans, waiver of margin security, advanced insurance for um, agricultural purposes being treated as a uh, non productive assets, that is NPA, incentives to bank branches to finance. Self help group makes this minimal bureaucratic. For procedures and launching of design credit cards. The marketing reforms and policies, the process of market regulation started in the mid 1960s with the um, enactment of agricultural produce. The market regulation act, APMC, the, market the agricultural produce market regulation act, that is, APMC is, is however, noted that there are many ways of the physical market are restricted. Over regulated and monopolistic. The direct procurement from the farmers are seldom permitted in most states. Private players were not permitted to uh, create private money. The cartelization of local traders also resulted in lower price realization by the farmer. And there was often lack of transparency in the process of price formation and determination. There has been a huge variety in the density of the regulated markets in different parts of the country. While all the Indian average areas of the regulated market, uh, the same uh, is considered 3 square kilometers for Punjab and 11.215 square kilometers in Nirmala. The National Commission on Farmers has suggested that the services of the market should be available within a radius of 5 kilometers. This is the monopoly of APMC has led to large intermediation and half 
effectively resulted in limiting the access to the farmers. The agricultural marketing policy in the country has moved considerably distant away from the restrictive regulations of 1960s and 70s, dominated by the excessive and needless use of the essential commodities as from the restrictive laws. To further reform the sector, a model agricultural produce marketing development act was formulated in 2002. And circulated to all the state governments for amend amending the special act. The rules under the act were also circulated in August 2007. The reforms proposed under the act include the placement of the segmented nature of markets and integrated and identified market rules, permission for direct procurement of farmers, promotion of grading and quality control services, introduction of single point reasonable market fee without within the state. Formulation and implementation of legal and institutional framework for contract, contract farming, simplification and introduction of the unified single licensing system, single window clearance to replace multiple authorities for various market operations, simplification of market tax laws, encouragement of private investment in market infrastructure development, permitting functions of private mandates outside the purview of the um, PPNC Act, creating creation of special markets for commodity or a commodity specific tax specific group. The permitting of um, electronic fan geographic spot mandate, the promotion of a commodity exchanges, the linking spots market closely with future market for price study. Then managing market commodities more professionally, the essential commodities and should be with us between our provisions related to stock limits and movement restrictions for moving from its purview. In 2004, there were 7,418 uh, regulated markets to which the central uh, government provided assistance in establishing the required market infrastructure and setting up the Rural welfare. The number of regulated markets, however, came down to 7,190 on 31st March 2017. There is an urgent need to legalize the contract farming and the interest of the farmers as well as the sponsors. There should be an institutional arrangement to record all contractual arrangements for government body or a local body such as a panchayat. There is a strong need for an independent market regulator for the issue of single registration license to the market functionaries to transact the business in the entire state and select single point market fee, especially for contract farmers, and direct marketing of sources of produce from the farmers, setting market in more than one market area and to ensure transparency and quality to the farmers. The tunnel market and wholesale markets which ensure better price realization and timely payment of sales proceeds in the producer. A lower price payable to the final consumer and remote impediments to smooth supply of raw materials and agro industry and the minimize post harvest losses and wastage by allowing direct procurement from the police. The private sector can bring in the required investment and management skills for successful development of these markets. The central government is committed to support the initiative by providing uh, equity, by providing um, initiative uh, equity assistance up to 41% of the project equity returnable as part and successful operation of the project to the venture capital fund of the small farmers agribusiness consortium. The terminal market complex based on the PPP model at the Patna, Bihar, and Peran, Durai, and Chennai has been up to the natural horticulture mission. The recent rapid growth in the organization organized a retail has attracted attention of the media as well as the electoral representatives. The critics fear that organized uh, retail 
will be detriment of the large multitude of the small retail of these peers appear that the large ministries and the retail space that would be occupied by the large corporates would be minimum significant. So students in this video we have seen about the land reforms and the political schemes for the agricultural development. Okay, so that is all we have seen in this lecture. Now we will see uh, now we will see in the next lecture that the business management, the next lecture of the food business management, uh, the different uh, schemes are presently which are uh, active um, uh, as for the government. Right. Also, we will be seeing uh, the different methods of uh, agricultural business expansion and the food business expansion. That is all for this session. Thank you.